What's poppin' guys, Erickson here, back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be going over my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Why I love it, why I think you should get it as a beginner cinema camera. And yeah, let's talk about video shit. I'm actually using this camera to record this video, so I can't really show it as I'm recording. But I'm gonna have some BTS or some B, um, some B-roll of my Black Magic. So, yeah, I've had this camera for about a year now, and I freaking love it. The quality, the ease of use, and the versatility—it's it's, mind blowing. This camera was the number one greatest investment in my life. It actually paid for itself in the first two months of using it. I think, yeah, I think two months of using it paid for itself. Now, I'm not saying that if you get this camera, you'll get more clean. No, not at all. What I am saying is, in my case, I used to work on the um, Canon T3i. And once I upgraded to the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, the quality of my work went up, more people noticed, and more people were interested. And so uh, at the time, I could raise my prices up because there were, I had more people interested in my work. So yeah, that's, that's what happened to me. Now, before I talk about everything I love about this camera, let me first tell you about everything I hate. For a little bit of context, I used to shoot lots of low budget mix videos. Just, 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 you know, letting you know. So the first thing I don't like, you probably guessed it, and it's the battery life. If you heard about the black magic, then you've most definitely heard about the awful, and I just mean awful battery life. In the box, they send you one battery that will last you about 30 to 20 to 30 minutes. Luckily for me, I used to shoot a whole bunch of low budget music videos. So the camera wouldn't be on for more than four to five minutes. So I can turn it off when it's not in use and that will last me about an hour, but still, that still wasn't long enough. So I bought two more batteries in case the other one dies, I can switch it out with a fully charged battery and just continue shooting. And also most of my video shoots lasted about one to two hours, except this one client that will work for me for like three to five hours. But most of the time it was just calibration, so it was all good. Anyways, yeah, one thing I don't like is the battery. The other thing I don't like is how wide this bitch is. In order for this camera to work on my gimbal, I had to buy this offset plate. It's a little bit annoying, but it's the price you have to pay for a compact body, I guess. So just know that this camera may not be able to fit on your gimbal. The other thing I don't like is if you want to use this camera from a professional use, you're going to need to rig this out with a V-mount, uh, better SSD, a cage, and just, you know, just rig it all out. Because as is out the box, it is not going to last you very long, both battery and memory. All right, now that we're done with all the, the bad things or the, the, just the bad things I don't like about this camera, let's now get into what I love about this camera. The first thing is the quality this camera offers at its price point, 4K 60 and 1080p at 120 frames per second. And the 4K on this camera is so freaking good. I'm most likely going to show some past work I did with this camera and just look at how good the quality is. Just just, just, just look at this, it's, it's great. So to me, the quality, A plus, A plus. It, 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 it's pretty good quality. All right, the second thing I love about this camera is the ease of use. The menu system on this camera is so simple and the big screen really helps. The buttons and just where everything is placed, just, it just fits perfectly to me. I learned everything I need to know about the menu in just a few days. One thing I found really helpful on this camera are the hotkeys or the function keys, whatever, whichever you call it. You're able to set them to whatever you want. On my camera, I got them set to LUT, um, focus speaking and false color. When I first got the camera, I didn't think I was gonna use these functions as much as I actually do. All right, the next thing up is the versatility. This camera could be rigged up like a cinema camera and be used for professional shoots and also be stripped down to just lens, body, and um, SD card and still keep the same quality at a form factor of a DSLR. I mean, come on now, that's freaking amazing. It's very light when you strip it down, so it's great for running on filmmaking just don't forget your extra batteries. Anyways, the reason why I think you should get this camera is because of the quality and features it offers at its affordable price point. If you're looking into getting your foot into the cinema world, then this beginner cinema camera is perfect for you. Maybe. I mean, you could always just rent out this camera for a day or two and see if it's gonna work out for you or not. If you have any questions whatsoever concerning this camera or anything about this camera, please leave a comment down in the description, the description, in the comment section below and I'll make sure to get to them. Other than that, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Peace out. Ooh, my shirt is blown out. I mean blown, blown complete. It's just completely blown out. It's not even, sorry about the blown out shirt. It, I didn't I didn't realize until now that holy, that shit is nuclear. Oops. Ah, 
so I don't like wearing white on set. Or, so I don't like wearing white in videos. Just a blown out shirt. I was gonna wear black, but eh. I thought white would look better. Oh, that is blown out. That's annoying. <laughs> this is, oof, look at that. Ah, okay, that's not good. That is not good. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna wear white again, or I'm gonna do my best to not completely clip it. Jeez. All right.